What's going on everyone? This is Travis Sets Fire and welcome back to Feed the Beast Revelation. So we are in this uh, plateau biome, the mesa, that we found during my live stream while I was looking for cactus. And I am hunting Endermen because I need their pearls. So that I can make a waystone to easily go back and forth <laughs> in between uh, here and my home. Uh, the reason that I'm here is uh, I want to make my house partly out of this terracotta using the chisel. Um, I really hope that Endermen spawn here. This this would not be a good thing if they don't. Uh, I picked it because it's, you know, a wide open area. Uh, what is... Oh, that's for astral sorcery. Yep. Okay. Not really, uh... I, I do want to get into astral sorcery, but... That is gonna be one of those that takes a while to get into, because... I need to find one of those big uh, structures. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be hunting, uh, hunting for Endermen. I should have, I didn't bring my uh, my Ender shards for Woot, but I think I have to upgrade the factory before I can actually put an Enderman uh, in there. Oh, hello there. Alright, well, let's get this guy. What do we got? One. <laughs> uh, I know I, I did have some pearls, but I used them to make some uh, resonant ender because I am going to use that as my coolant for... Oh, perfect. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm going to use that for coolant for my extreme reactor that I am going to be building today. <laughs> I did a little work and picked out where I'm going to be putting them. I, I know you can make them like really big, like really, really big, but I think I'm going to start with just a 5x5, uh, a five five, uh, technically it's going to be 6x6, six six, but that's just the outer casings on the on the outside. Um, so let's... I got enough pearls now. <laughs> so I am going to get up here to the very top. And I have everything else that I need in here. I'll put these in there for now. Grab these. So, waystone. You need this warp stone, which is... Just purple dye, ender pearl, emerald, got that. And then for the other structures, just stone bricks and obsidian. So, pa, we got our waystone. Let's do Mesa. Awesome. Now we can go home at the cost of one experience point. <laughs> but that's all right. Okay. Cool. Now, since it's still dark, I want to grab a ender shard and see if I can't schmack a enderman with it. Hopefully I can find one. Alright, well, as you can see, the sun's up. I missed my opportunity to find an enderman, unless there's one lurking around here somewhere during the day, but I'm not going to hold my breath. So this is what I have so far. Um, I'm going to put one here, here, and here. This, I think I'm just going to leave open for now. So what I want is it's going to be, you know, there, it's right here. And then the output is going to go uh, here and then down into this hole. And then uh, eventually come out here. And this is where my main 
uh, base of operations is going to be. So I dug all this out. <laughs> uh, the, so there's my Woot Factory from my live stream. And here's my drill. Still just going, whoops, going to town. Look at all that. Yes. <laughs> I So I need to get a reactor going because this is just not cutting it. 20 RF. And yeah so and i have it uh pulling automatically into there so i don't have to go in here and clear it out because i think once this fills up it uh stops grabbing like new different ores that are already in there so uh yeah i just wanted to bring you guys back and show you what i've got ready um yeah, so I'm going to go in here and start uh, making the components I need for the reactor. Alright, look at all those goodies we got. <laughs> so let's see if we have enough. Now, so what I need is, so this is this is 6x6, six six, so I'm going to need quite a few uh of these how many can i make 47 i think this is the only one that takes gold let's just double check real quick so we need two of these um two of those and then a power tap one power tap for now uh, one controller, the glass, the control rod, and the fuel rods. So, okay, so this is the only one that takes gold. And we can make 47 of them. It doesn't hurt to have more. So, there's that. Now the casing... Okay, you get four from each craft. Okay, so we got a stack, almost two stacks. That should be quite a bit. Okay, so let's uh, let's get to this. Okay, so after uh, having to take a little bit of time from building to mine, because I ran out of iron, <laughs> uh, since it's night I figured I'd go out again and look for an Enderman to program this shard. And I, 
I can't remember if it is tier 2 or tier 3 that I need for the Enderman. I really hope it's 2. Uh, for, for tier 2, I think... Uh, you know what? Let me... Uh, Maybe not right now. <laughs> I will. Uh, I will check to see what uh, mob resources I need for. I don't even want to mess with you for uh, the tier two. I I think it's blazes. I could be wrong. All right. Finally found an Enderman. So let's give him a little smack and get him. All right. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> Go away. Okay. okay. Whatever. <laughs> Not worried about that. Okay. Let's. Okay. We don't need that. We definitely don't need that. What else do I have in? Holy cow. Okay. Let's... Oh, there's another one. Okay, let's put this away. This away. This away. We don't really... I don't even know. I don't know what this brain is for. It's Thomcraft, and like I've said quite a few times, I haven't messed with it, like, at all. So... Okay. Cool. Well, oh, there's another one. This cleaver is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna head back to my base and keep. Uh, we're just gonna keep working towards that uh, extreme reactor. Okay, so I figured before I go any further, I just wanted to get the Enderman uh, controller made. Uh, so let's do that. So that goes there. And then I think it's just one factory base and the controller core. And then a smack. Yep, okay. And this is... Oof, that's tier 3. Oh, we got a ways to go. Okay. Well, that's good to know. At least we have it. So, we have it. Now, um... Yeah, I'm just gonna... Oops. I'm gonna... Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's try this again. Put these in my magma crucible that I, I made off cam. Uh, so that'll pump the resonant, resonant ender in there. And then, uh, pretty sure with this open blocks tank, I can break it, pick it up, and bring it over to uh, the reactor once I get it all built. So, I need... Come on, I, I'll put this in here. Okay, so I need to grab all this iron and this glass because I'm still gonna need quite a few resources for, for this. I just got the outer, like just part of the outer shell built. So I'm gonna keep plugging away at this.
Okay, it's done. Now I just need to fill it with uh, resonant ender, but I'm going to need quite a bit more <laughs> because I think I only have with even after putting all those pearls in there uh, I think I only have like three buckets yeah and that is not enough um, I know there's other ways you can cool it like with uh, diamond blocks or even iron is better than water um, but I do not have enough resources to do that so what I'm thinking is let's just real quick see what uh, we need for Woots, uh, three, actually, you know what, it, it should tell us with the, uh, with the intern here. Okay, yep, blaze casings. Okay, and then tier three is 60 ender casings. Holy cow. So ender casings are, yep, that's a lot of ender pearls. Ooh, this is going to be... This is going to take a while. So, uh, let me think, because I really want to get this reactor going. Um, I did see something about destabilized redstone being somewhat okay for uh, coolant. So, maybe if I just throw some of that in just to get it started that that's all I want just to get it started um, yeah see these only hold 16 block uh, buckets so I'm gonna work on that and I'll bring you back all right this is the last bucket of destabilized redstone and it took so long to get that so let's put our glass around and did it work I think it worked I hope it worked Let's go find out. <laughs> oh wait, no it didn't because I took this out. Aha! Now, let's put this in. And turn it on. So it's heating up. Uh, heat of the reactor fuel. He high heat raises fuel usage. Okay. So this thing's filling up with the energy. Um, I'm probably. Holy cow. Higher levels of radiation. I've never actually messed around with big reactors. So, this is all kind of new to me. <laughs> um, but, so I think when this gets full, if I turn it off, I think it still stores it, doesn't it? Let's just see. It's not going down. Okay. 
So I'm gonna go grab a... <laughs> I'm sorry, it just, it took so long to get the redstone. Um... Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is just, I'm just gonna start moving all this uh, up there. I think I'm just gonna let this run and in the lieu of going into the nether to find blazes right now I think what I'm gonna do is just let it run fill get you know get a bunch of these tier 2 shards because that is uh, next so there's the blaze casings. You can just use the tier 2 shards instead of blaze rods. And I uh, left my hammer in there, but yeah, it's it's going to take quite a few. And I guess a few more pink slime balls never worked cuz you can also use these with tinker uh tinkers I'm um, I I think you can make pink slime uh, ingot, maybe, maybe not. I could have swore that was a thing. Pink slime ingot, yeah, these things right here. Uh, there. Casting, molten reinforced pink slime, pink slime ingot. Oh, so you gotta use this thing. Fluid sieving machine. That's pretty cheap. Maybe I'll make that because these things are like the pink slime tools are just like insanely durable. Like that's a lot of that that that'll never ever break. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's probably going to be where we leave it for now. Um, this is just a single player world, not on a server, so I'm just gonna, like, leave it running for a while. <laughs> Let this run. Let the drill run. Oh man, I'm so glad I got that thing going. Because this is gonna start filling up, like, really quick. Um, and then I'm gonna start, I guess the next order of business is working on... A new structure like around here not too sure about what I want to do with this bridge walkway thing here I might take that out uh, I guess let me know what you guys think in the comments if you want to uh, yeah so <laughs> I'm just so glad that this thing got finally got going.
I'm I'm really glad. Like, yep, and it's I just can't believe how how powerful it is. Although that thing is kind of oh wow. Okay, so it's still got 3.2 million in there. Okay, so I'm gonna be like tinkering with that. Um, in the meantime, I really want to get rid of that. Like, if I could hide that UI, uh, let's just do root cap there. That's better. Wow, that's going down pretty quick. Uh, so let's turn it on. Okay. I'm going to make some energy cells because that'll help with that. All right, so uh, what I did was I upgraded the alloy smelter so it'll uh, blend metals and whatnot uh, much quicker. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do as far as storing all that RF goes is start working on these capacitor banks. I completely forgot about these, but they hold a ton of energy. I think more than the uh, uh, thermal energy cells uh, fully upgraded. I'm, I might be wrong. I'll, I'll, I'll do some messing around and see what I can come up with. Um, so yeah, that is, I'm, I'm glad I got that going. Um, and yeah, so thank you for watching. I'm just so glad I got this thing going. <laughs> it's just, oh, it, it just puts out so much power. And yeah, I'm going to be doing a little stuff off cam. I'm probably going to just like get a little start on my building as far as, uh, put, you know, having a place to put all the things that are in that little basement down there. I'm probably going to leave the smeltery there. I'm not too worried about moving that. But yeah, so I'm, I just kind of want to build around the Woot Factory. Now I have, since I have the uh, laser under here kind of hidden, it's you don't really need to take care of it. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. And I will... Whoop, there we go. See you next time. <laughs> Have a good one.